revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the New York Post, this uh, grocery store on the Upper West Side is going to be releasing a aisle of man. It's a man aisle. It's going to be in the supermarket, and it's going to have everything from condoms to barbecue sauce to beer, chips, and uh, everything manly. And we got a picture of it. There it is. It's got beer are, and are they going to are they going to sell <laughs> are they going to sell accountability too? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucking awesome, man. I think it's a great idea. Maybe that's where they keep the monkey butt. Because I've been looking for monkey butt in the stores for I don't know how long. I can't monkey find it. butt? Yes. It's a, it's like a powder that you put on your balls. And it's supposed to keep your balls nice and fresh in gold the Gold bond time. medicated powder? I don't like gold bond. No? No, it gets a little spackly when you it sweat does, on it. It turns into like yeah, a pancake like mix. Yeah. It's like grundle paste. Yeah, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Gooch paste. <laughs> You, you you sit on your balls 80% more with fucking gold bond medicated powder. I wanted to ask you guys, what would be in your man aisle? And we'll take your phone calls, 914-595-4871, or Skype us at Zadal's NY. What's in your man aisle? Frank? Beer. You know, I, I'm like a I'm like an antithesis of man sometimes, man. I swear to God. I don't know. Like me, I would like, I would like some smoked salmon. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, I I'm trying to think of the manliest thing that I would want, but I don't. I, I don't really give a shit about the beer too much. You know, I like drinking. How about some mead? Mead's good. Mead would be awesome. In that the would be. And now that I taste it, amazing. We were gonna save that, but I think we we're just gonna finish the bottle. What about you, Carm? Uh, well, I collect flashlights for some reason, <laughs> so I'd have some flashlights. What are you, a six-year-old child? I don't know what it is about. Like whenever I go to Home Depot, I'm like, wow, that's cool. Like, Flashlight, I gotta get that. You guys I have like twenty flashlights in my fucking house. You guys remember those snake lights, those goosebumps oh, snake the lights? Best. I don't remember that you, at you all. Could put it on your neck and read it. Hell in the dark. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like flashlights. So flashlights? I like knives and, have, and this beer. Is the, the, listen, the Man Up show, the new show on the network, would be so disappointed. Because so far, what? in, the, in awesome. the man aisle of this supermarket that we have, we, we're building, so far we have smoked salmon ready, and ready, flashlights. Ready, look, here, here we go. Beer. Yeah. Steak. Yeah. Um, hot sauce. So it's got to be a refrigerated aisle then. Well, it could be It's got to be both. got to be a little, a, bit a little bit of both. Michael, what do you got? Beer. A lot of cock. A lot of cock. <laughs> cock. Where is he? I think you got to. I think you got to have. You got to have some type of uh, salted meat. Salted meat for sure. Salted meat. Jerky. What jerky. about jerky. Right. nice jerky? What about this? You guys find motion lotion to be manly? Mm. I, I think it's a little silly. Are you talking about masturbation lube? Or you know, fun. I've never fun had. I never masturbated with lube before. No. Yeah, I'm a dry skin kind of guy. And the it, only time I had the warming gel, the KY warming gel, I had sex with it. It almost it's burned. Weird. It got yeah, inside my dick weird. hole. Oh no! I once got a BJ from a girl who put cinnamon Altoids in her fucking mouth. <laughs> oh and my I, god! I almost, I almost, What's it like getting a blowjob from a dragon? I almost gave her a black eye with it's like, that. It's like heat meister. <laughs> we got someone on the line. Let's go to it. Yo, you're on the Vinny Brusco show. What's your name? What's up, man? It's Andrew. Jupin! What up, man? What's going on? Yo, you guys are making this man aisle really easy for me. It's the same <laughs> as my answer from last week. <laughs> what? Weed and buffalo chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Weed and buffalo chicken. I like this. I like this guy. It's a good It's a Although good man aisle. I would, I would totally add, because it's a man aisle, so there's absolutely no judging, hardcore pornography. <laughs> right, you gotta have porn. Yeah, okay. You gotta only, have porn. And because it's 2012, only high definition hardcore pornography. <laughs> See, I was gonna go the other way, because I find there's something way more manly about magazine porn. No, <laughs> magazine porn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I find that more manly because you know that dudes mostly read it when they're taking a shit. You know right. what I mean? Right. Thanks for the call, Drew. Nope. Appreciate it, really. Right on, guys. Later, like, man. When I, when I started my job, dude, there was a fucking giant cardboard box of porn in that place. Man porn? It was awesome. It was awesome. I don't know what would be in my aisle. I don't know. I think you have to go with, like, beer, and you got to go with, like, yeah, salted go with red meats. You got to have salted... Yeah, you you got to have some type of meat. weaponry. Like, I, well, I said knives, because I like knives. My girl gave me permission to get a crossbow the other day. Really? Yeah. What are you going to do with a crossbow? Save people during the apocalypse. Oh, okay, Save. fair enough. I'm, I've but been, do you, you don't have a backyard, no? I'm in the re no, no. But I'm in the recon work of getting a a crossbow. Okay. Because all I have is close hand to hand combat. May I, may I suggest um, the Bud K catalog? They have good prices. Yeah, Bud K. All right. I would want size. For a crossbow? For a crossbow? No, size. For like dick? Like, like, no, like Raphael's. Uh, oh, oh, size! size. <laughs> I would want, okay. a, I want I didn't know a if pair you meant like a deep breath. I was like, what are you talking about? Yes, yeah, so if, if would this uh, man aisle have a deep breath? Like, <laughs> <sighs> 
Um, I'm looking for deep breath. There would be <laughs> that's in the man aisle. There would be fleshlights. <laughs> yeah, there, in my for man you aisle. there would be. What aisle would it be? Seven sixty nine. No, come on. What is this? Anthony yeah. once did a Anthony once did a how to create a homemade fleshlight really with, with a um, with a uh, a towel and a latex glove. I him how to do it. Oh, oh, Mike did. Okay, <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. My old roommate one day, right? I, w I went home. I see him sitting there. He has a box of latex gloves in front of him, and he's just stuffing one into the next, one into the next, like this, making a huge one. He had like 150 of them in there, right? And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm gonna have sex with this thing, and then when I'm done. I could just take the inside glove out and throw it away. Yeah. So he had himself like a disposable fucking vagina. That's disgusting. Pretty exciting. That is. We got some nice answers in it's the innovating. chat. Fishing poles, machetes. Fishing poles, machetes uh, is good. What else we got? But that, that's got? not stuff that you normally find in the supermarket. Yeah, that's not stuff that you see men walking around with <laughs> on Fifth <laughs> Avenue. Power tools. I need my fishing pole and my machete. <laughs> Just for every day. <laughs> every day usage. Fetch me my tire gauge pressure. Pressure gauge. Yeah, pressure gauge. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, Coming up, uh, fuck the Westboro Baptist Church. It's illegal in nine countries. There you go. <laughs>